that. And a little quicker it'll do that. <gasps> That's scary. No, but it feels so good. <laughs> and press the uh, red button. And that's gonna take it just to the basic. Oh, that's a little. Oh, oh. oh my god! Oh. oh my god! Okay, no, no, I'm fine. I'm okay. I'm okay. That I understand what happened. The, the remote is a little wonky. It's okay. You know that muscle that was really stiff on you? I folded it under the other one. It's okay. I trained for this. Oh my god! Yeah. That was just a small look at what Michael Carbonaro could do. He joins us now to discuss tonight's performance at the Carbonado Performing Arts Center. Good morning, my Good morning. I, I was, it's a tongue twister. Yes, at the Coronado. Coronado. I know. Thank you for helping it along with me. So what got uh, you, first of all, into pranking? Because, I mean, like, have you always been a prankster as yeah, a little kid? Yeah, as a kid, I loved, like, special effects and horror, and uh, I loved joking around. I would always, like, scare the neighborhood kids and my parents and freak them out and just combining magic with all kinds of uh, pranks to see what I can get people to, to believe in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that looks fun. I, I love pranks. It keeps me laughing. Joey is yes, a prankster. I, I'm a prankster, and I also love telling jokes. But yeah. also, what was, was there somebody who uh, you idolized as a child growing up to get into what you're doing today? Absolutely. David Copperfield. Like, I just was obsessed with David Copperfield. Still am. You know, I love, and you'll see this too when I do a live show versus like when I'm doing the TV show. You know, David Copperfield, just watching him, I really learned how to become like a, you know, the host of a show. David's a showman. He can go in and out of being crazy and also, you know, being bizarre, being funny, but also being serious and dramatic. So right. uh, I, I learned how to host and be a magician, a master of ceremonies from idolizing David Copperfield. Now, what's the difference between a live show that you do and basically your TV show? Right, yeah. Well, on the TV show, obviously, like you saw there, I was playing a chiropractor, so I'm always someone hiding out in public and you don't know that I'm doing magic tricks. So tonight at the Coronado, obviously, you know that I'm a magician. <laughs> right? so, you would think, but it doesn't stop me from pulling one over on people. Yeah. Like you leave there, like well, for one, I think a lot of people they watch it on TV and they wonder if I can really do it live. Right. Like, right. can you really pull these things off, or are they just camera tricks? You know, is it actors or is this the real deal? And you see, like, I'll do some of the stuff that I do on the TV show right there on stage, and you're like, oh my gosh, it's happening right in front of me. So you can see that it's happening. And then I'll, um, people definitely leave going like, was that a mistake in the show? And then he fixed it with magic. Did that really happen? You really get pranked oh, yeah. being there live. What is the biggest prank you pulled on someone? I got to know. Okay. I, the first one I really did too. I had a friend at school who was terrified of space aliens. It was like, she was really? so afraid of those like drawings of those big black eyed aliens. And um, I convinced her that they really exist, that I molded these like masks and she went to walk her dog and I like popped them up and kind of puppeted them, puppeted them behind a car and just made these little like noises and she like fell to the ground terrified. It was like my first, like I was like, whoa, you can really affect somebody. And people are willing to believe about anything, yeah. Mm -hmm. you know? yeah. Did you have anything? I know you guys are Italian, so you guys bond in right. that way, in that yeah. sense. We were talking about Morning Mug Club where we said if we can pick an actor or somebody to represent us in a yeah. movie, we got this one guy. right. I'm gonna do it. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna play you, right? Yeah. So, yeah, I'm gonna play Joey in the movie. I think that's good. Now, how is audience, like, what do they leave um, when they leave one of your shows? What's the main thing that you want them to leave with? Yeah. I know you're like, oh, mind blown, but yeah. anything else that you wanna well, bring? I, one of the things I hear all the time uh, about the TV show is people say like, wow, this TV show is the only show on television that I watch together with my whole family. And I'm seeing that in the live audiences too. I mean, it's a total family friendly show and you've got, you know, young couples with their like seven year old son or you've got like grandma and the 16 year old and every, they all bond and it's not a kiddie show by any means that you enjoy too. It really is a show for everybody. And I think that comes from the fact that I just have been performing you know, I put myself through college by doing private parties like birthdays and communions and christenings. That's cool. awesome. As a magician, and it was always a, a complete spectrum of ages. So I'm always performing in front of like little kids and adults at the same time. You got to find a way to make everybody entertained. A balance. So what's your favorite uh, like actor or, you know, like not actor, but the favorite performance that you've done on the show? Like you, I know you were a chiropractor, yeah. but yeah, like, yeah, tell yeah. me one that you well, there's like the one most. that's actually um, and I, I show a section of it in the live show tonight, too, is probably the ultimate prank. Oh, it's and it's back to space aliens again. How funny is that? Yeah. Um, I, I literally convinced this woman that uh, we were at a science museum and 
and she believed that uh, a meteor hatched open and inside of it was a living space alien oh, that wow. ended up morphing by climbing on top of a science book that had a picture of a cat on it and the, the alien morphed into a cat. So okay. she believed an alien turned to a cat. All right, thanks so much, Michael.